All right, so we have ratios, proportions, and rates. So we got three problems here to look at. Uh, let's get going. All right, so distance equals rate times time. We got to know that, right? We have to know that formula uh, to do many problems here, right? Uh, so here's a question. 300 miles in five hours, what's the, the average rate on the trip, right? So we know that distance equals 300, right? 300 miles equals the rate we do not know times five hours is the time, right? From here, all I gotta do, divide by five, divide by five, R equals 60 miles per hour for five hours to so drive 300 miles. Okay, not too hard. So do a different one. Okay, what if it says, um, this is more ratio, we have 10 males, 15 females in a class. And what is the ratio of males to everybody? So this is part to whole, right? So we know 10 plus 15 is 25. So that's the total in the class. And we know we have 10 males, 10 out of 25, right? We can still reduce that even further by dividing each side by five. And right? if we do that, divide by five, divide by five, 10 divided by five is two, 25 divided by five is five, two fifths. Two fifths males, right? Which would mean certainly three fifths are female, right? That's that one. All right. And last one. What if it says there's two times as many males as females, and we know that there are 60 people in the class, right? Twice as many males as females, 60 people in the class. How many males, how many females? How do we do that one? All right, so what you really need to know here when it says twice as many males as females, what that really means is that two thirds are male, one third are female. All right, since we know that, we can set up an equation. Two thirds are male equals how many? Uh, 60, right? That's the ratio. 60 is the total number in the class. Now we need to cross multiply. 3x equals 120, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 40 males, right? And given that, we then know that we have 20 females, right? 40 is twice 20, 40 plus 20 is 60, it looks good. All right, so what if um, rather than twice as many, right, what if it was three times as many, all right? What would we do then? All right? Then we would go three fourths male, one fourth female. That's what that means. All right? Three times as many. All right? Three fourths, one fourth. Right? So what would that look like? Three out of four equals x out of sixty. Still cross four x. Sixty times three is one eighty. Divide by four. Divide by four. X equals, I'm just trying to do that math. I think that's a 45. All right, 180 divided by four, yep, 45. And then that's 45 males. And then we've left with 15 females. And the quick fact check 45 plus 15 is 60, so that number looks good. 15 times three is 45, that looks good as well. That's the right answer.